What's up guys? So today um, I'm going to Napa Auto Parts to pick up uh, another power steering pump. So in 2017, I actually replaced the power steering pump in my 1984 Trans Am um, with a Napa pump and the other day this other weekend here I was driving it and it uh, cut out intermittently started working so the pump is bad I actually had the power steering gearbox um, gone through and replaced last year um, because it was leaking oil <coughs> um, or fluid rather um, so I don't think that's related uh, because it is an intermittent problem so I called Napa up and something I did not know is that the um, the pump is actually lifetime warranty so I'm going right now I'm going to pick up the new pump <coughs> last time I installed it myself and I really don't have time to do that so I'm going to pick up the pump and then I'm going to have uh, a mechanic um, put it in for me and then I'll take the old pump and I will bring it to Napa um, oh, I'm getting a call so so that's the situation we're at right now so we'll have a geese I don't know if I got that but stupid geese were in the road um, anyways let's see lost my train of thought so yeah that's we're getting a new pump and other updates on the car um, I do have a sticker kit for my car all the exterior stickers I have them um, in that long shaped box right there so that's pretty exciting and also Later in this video, we're gonna test the fitment of uh, the T-top um, edging, and so stay tuned for that. I'm just driving, so I, I know you don't wanna see that, so I'll catch you in a little bit. All right, so just like that, we've got power steering pump. Um, <clears throat> so the game plan is uh, maybe boring for you because it really doesn't matter to you but I'm taking my car on uh, Sunday night parking it in their lot with the pump in the passenger seat they're gonna install it I'll put the old pump back in the the box that I have right now and then that is going to go back to Napa so that's uh, that's it let's go open up the unit and try out that window edging so first off let's grab the pump here take it over into the the red machine here wee 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 and set it on the new rubber floor mats in case somehow it decides to leak oil <clears throat> cool that's probably pretty dark for you sorry I apologize I gotta adjust these windows that'll be next then I'll try and film that so next we've got um, obviously the new graphics that these can go right here new um, inside um, water vapor barrier for the doors so that I can 
uh, adjust the windows and peel back those old ones. Um, I think I've finally decided I do want to do the paint work um, because I was deciding whether I <clears throat> want to or if that was the best route to go um, the way that this particular body man said it <clears throat> the way he recommended and uh, I think that's the best way but uh, we still I guess have to um, make plans so let's move on to uh, seeing if this window trim fits. Off the bat, I'm gonna show you. Sure as heck is not perfect. Um, that's about all the way pushed on. So I mean, you got some decent grab. I don't know, like, if I put this stuff on, is it gonna start flaking? I'm gonna have to remove it right away. It's cheap Chinese crap this stuff I wish you could find it I might just have to be patient and when they start making stuff for these cars again um, then I will pick it up then I guess um, if you, again if anybody out there on the internet knows of where you can get these edges Please, please, please let me know. I I mean, I've got all the other weather stripping. These drip guards around doors, window sweeps, around the T-tops. You can get everything but these edges. It's like, it's nuts. Why doesn't someone make them? Camaros should be the exact same. So, please let me know if you guys have any idea. I don't want to go ahead and goop up the Chinese crap if I don't have to. Um, but who knows? Maybe I could look at make it look nice. I just want it to be durable um, and last a long time. So, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. I don't think I'll be adding anything else to this video. Uh, so. And I, I guess if I do, I'll just cut this part out. Catch you later.